All right, hello everyone. It's been a little while since I've done a video like this, but today we're gonna to be talking about this thing right here. I posted a little video showing it already, but I'll go a little more into detail as to what this is. So, this is, it's a national. It would have been a real mower. Obviously, as you can tell, it no longer has its reels. There would have been three of them. One out back here, and one on each side. Now, I already have one of these, a smaller one, that I've never really shown except for that previous video. And I will make a video about that one too at some point. But that one still has its reels. That's a 68 inch cut, that one. And if this one had its reels, it would have been an 84 inch cut. So, I could be mowing quite a bit with these. They were designed for use on like golf courses, since uh, reel mowers provide a clean cut, a lot cleaner than regular blade mowers. So, they were purpose built and not marketing built as someone in the comments from that previous video said they were built for functionality not for style which is something I kind of like about them it's really honestly quite cool to see just the bare frame with all the mechanicals and not covered up under some styling with fancy paint So this is this is an early one, an earlier national. Uh, it's got a Wisconsin AENL magneto fired engine, and uh, this is a really big engine, especially to pull over by hand. This is what I could find rated at 9.2 horsepower at 3600. So it's a pretty big engine to be turning over by hand there. The e and L, three by three and a quarter inch for the piston. Don't know if there's RPM marked there. I don't think there is. Serial number three five four three nine four eight. And this is, I believe, the original engine to the mower, which is kind of cool. My other one doesn't have the original engine anymore. It's got a snowblower engine on it now. That was how I bought it. Here's the national serial number two. National patent number eight four six three. I want to say serial number five seven five five. I think. I think that's no three seven five five. I don't know how the serial numbers work on these, but it seems like a relatively low number, so it might be a pretty early production unit. I'm not entirely sure. So this was a uh, a Christmas gift from my dad. <laughs> he does this kind of stuff. I mean, I won't complain. It's a pretty cool machine. It wasn't running. I mean, it wouldn't be any fun without a challenge, would it? <laughs> so I got it going. It's pretty fun. The cat has come to join us. <laughs> so, the engine wasn't that difficult. Clean the points, clean the carburetor. Had to make a new gasket for the carburetor. It's leaking now out of the main fuel jet, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to see if I can replace the little uh, felt seal in there, but I don't know. But so, the real issue with getting it going again was actually the clutch, which as you can see works fine now. 
but originally that uh, clutch was rusted, stuck, and so it was just on all the time. And after many minutes of driving it around, trying to put as much force on that thing as I could to get it to break free on its own, it didn't. So I ended up tearing it apart and cleaning out all the rust, which is probably not a bad thing because now it's a lot cleaner than it was. It's still a little sticky if you leave it completely in neutral. It'll spin the whole drive line over still, but I could probably loosen it a little too, but it works a lot better now, especially since it was stuck before. <laughs> So this has two speeds. I like to call them, uh, let's go down to the gear shifter here. I like to call those speeds medium, and holy cow, why does this thing go so fast for what it is? <laughs> it really, it moves along in that high gear. I was kind of surprised about it. It also has reverse, which is this knob here by the steering wheel goes down to this and when you pull on it it pulls that gear to the bigger gear and then pulls this belt tight crazily that belt despite being absolutely destroyed that still works you can still get it to go in reverse <laughs> steering is pretty nice it's, it doesn't take a lot to steer it's really simple Look at that. Just an exposed worm gear on the steering column. That's all that there is to that. The brake is just that pedal there. Back to a singular band on the transmission. And it's actually surprisingly strong. Especially considering how oily it is. It's probably not supposed to be that oily. I had to add more fluid into that rear gear box. And I gotta change the oil on the engine too, but it seems to be working pretty well. There's your throttle there, and then this toggle switch kills the ignition. It's on right now. That's actually off, just reverse of what you'd think, but eh. <laughs> I guess all that's left to do is start and take it for a spin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to start this on camera. This. It's a big engine, like I said, 9.2 horsepower, so you kind of need both hands to really spin this over, but I'll give it a shot. Well, I tried to start it, but with one hand all it did was backfire, and uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna bother with that, so... Besides that one pull and it took right off, granted it was just running a little bit ago. But, and that old Wisconsin's a pretty good runner still.
that it kills the magneto and there it goes so there you have it national real mower and probably a pretty early one too these things are pretty cool even for how simplistic they are i think they're pretty awesome little machines and you don't see too many of them around i know one guy who has two of them just like i do in fact just like i do he's got a small one that still has its cutting reel and a big one that doesn't although he may still have his the reels for his i don't know for sure i thought he said he did i don't know but there you have it they're just pretty cool Probably have to put a drawbar on the back of it so I can tow stuff with it or something. But that's for another day. For now, I gotta change the oil in the engine, check out the oil in this gearbox, uh, maybe adjust the clutch a little bit more, fix the reverse. So it doesn't work quite right. I think it just needs some lubrication probably to make it work better. I grease everything up good. Uh, replace that reverse belt, obviously. See if I can do something about tightening up this main drive chain. I'm sure you can hear it in the video and you can probably see now just how loose that is. But other than that, it's looking pretty solid. I don't know about this tire up here. It's got that weird line in it. But even then, it's not in terrible shape. They both got tubes in them now, the front ones at least, so. Well, with that being said, if you like these old machines and you want to see more about them, consider leaving a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on whatever future projects I may drag home and make videos about. Of course, I'll make a video on my other national at some point, so stay tuned for that one. That's another cool machine even if it's not quite as old or original as this one. So, be on the lookout, and with that said, see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching.